Tyrod Taylor played at an extremely high level for a first-year starter. According to Pro Football Focus, he had the ninth highest PFF QB rating with a 93.18. That was ahead of such QBs as Eli Manning and Aaron Rodgers. Part of the reason why he was rated so high was the fact that he took care of the ball. In 2015, Taylor only threw six interceptions. That was the fewest of all QBs that dropped back more than 50% of the snaps for their team. So let's take a look at those interceptions to understand the context of why it happened and maybe even some things that Tyrod could work on. Taylor's first interception occurred in week two against the Pats. It's third nine and the Bills are down seven points. The Bills bring out 11 personnel and a line in a three by one wide receiver set. They try to isolate Sammy Watkins on this play. Having lost some really good man cover corners, the Pats utilized a lot of cover three and zone concepts in 2015. This play was no different. The Pats counter with a three safety, cover three sky look. Cover three sky means that a safety is responsible for the flats. On this play, it's Devin McCourty to Sammy's side. Cover three puts four defenders underneath. Those defenders are coached really well because on the snap, they drop right to the first down marker. Taylor tries forcing it into tight coverage and the ball sails and is picked off. Let's examine why the ball may have sailed. On the snap, Taylor finds the flats defender, Devin McCourty. He helps the corner with Sammy, so Taylor must work back to the field. He hits the top of his drop and is unsure on who to throw the ball to. For a split second, he thinks about taking off. That minor blip in his footwork possibly leads to the ball being off point. Those lapses in his footwork occur from time to time, and it leads to some inaccurate throws. Compare his footwork to Tom Brady's. Brady is always on his toes with a square base and in a good throwing posture even with pressure closing in. You can see how even though he is pressured, he resets and his base is still square as he releases the ball. Now back to Tyrod's footwork. As he makes the decision to throw it, his base is too wide and he muscles the throw, meaning his body isn't quite in an optimal throwing position and his accuracy suffers. But is the ball still catchable? I believe so. Taylor's second interception of the year came at the end of the second quarter with 17 seconds left. It's third and 13 from the Patriots 46 yard line and Tyrod tries making a play. The Bills are again in a 3 by one wide receiver set and Sammy is a primary wide receiver on this play. The pass match up with a 3 safety, cover 3 buzz look. As far as coverage is concerned, cover 3 buzz means that post snap, the safety is dropping down into the hook to curl area of the underneath coverage. Post snap, the two safeties take away the middle of the field by jumping the crossing route by Charles Clay. Tyrod senses pressure, so he leaves the pocket and takes a shot deep to Sammy in the secondary window. The ball sails and is picked off. Can't fault him for taking a chance on third down. Let's work through the progression. Taylor takes a snap and passes on the throw to Sammy because the hook to curl defender got great depth. So he moves on to number two, Charles Clay, but he isn't open. He extends a play with his legs and tries executing a tough throw, but the ball sails on him. The third and final interception in the game versus the Pats takes place with a minute 15 left. The Bills run the same double post play, and the Pats again run cover three buzz, but with four safeties on the field. Tyrod gets the same defensive look and makes a throw in rhythm, but again the ball sails on him and is picked off to end the Bills hopes of a comeback. Taylor does a good job of keeping his eyes downfield with pressure in his face. The ball is high, but Sammy has to make the catch on this play. Don't you agree? It isn't until week four that the Bills QB throws another interception, this time versus the Giants. Since it's first down, the Giants bring strong safety Merriweather, more of a hitter or run stuffer down as the sky safety. This play call is designed to make the strong safety of the force player if the Bills decide to run to the strength of the formation. Charles Clay motions and the strength of the formation changes. Bills put stress on the corner on Mukamura, who has a deep third by having Woods run a deep curl and Clay running a wheel route. But the linebacker recognizes the route and carries Clay up the sideline where he picks it off. On the snap, Taylor uses his eyes to hold the safety. He recognizes the single high safety zone look and knows where to go with the ball. The linebacker Kennard just makes a heck of a play. Taylor's fifth interception of 2015 occurred against the Philadelphia Eagles. At this point, he had gone 223 attempts without an interception. 
But let's examine how the Bills got into this situation. Listen in. Third and three. And more penalty flags as that one is whistled dead. Well started offense, number 79, five yard penalty, it's third down. And that is false start penalty number four against the Bills. Well, they've struggled up front. Jordan Mills, just that little flinch is all that's needed. Mills making his second straight start for Chantrell Henderson. 15 penalties against Buffalo. Woods motions into a trip sponge set, signaling to Taylor that the Eagles are in man coverage. But now look how far off Malcolm Jenkins is in coverage. The Bills showed the play prior to the penalty, so the Eagles were able to adjust their alignment. This is important because Hogan is supposed to set the rub on Woods' defender and would have helped to have Jenkins in tight coverage. Woods gets a clean release, but the corner is in a good trail technique. The tight coverage and the pressure on Taylor leads him to throw the ball over Woods' head, where it is picked off by Ed Reynolds. Watch him play from the pocket. The final interception thrown by Taylor cost the Bills points. The Bills have eight seconds left and are faced with a third and two from the five yard line. Roman calls a five wide set as the Cowboys appear to be in a cover three buzz look. Taylor tries throwing the fade to Chris Hogan, but the corner picks it off. Although the play was a failure, let's look at Taylor's mechanics. Look at his footwork, nice and square, on his toes. Look familiar? The corner reads Hogan's route really well and doesn't bite on the inside move, sending the Bills into halftime with no points. The Patriots in week two really set a blueprint for defenses to emulate. Defenses played a lot of cover three zone versus Taylor because reading zone coverages are much more difficult than man. Having four underneath defenders paired with Roman's play calling really hindered Taylor's throwing over the middle. But towards the end of the season, due to the Bills injuries at running back, defenses took the extra defender out of the box and played more cover two looks to stop the deep passing game. But that didn't always matter. Of Taylor's six interceptions in 2015, Taylor threw five versus zone coverage, specifically cover three, and one interception versus man coverage. I'm sure Taylor spent a ton of time studying film and working on his mechanics in the offseason, and that will vastly improve his game in 2016.